I'm bringing you this mini album. It's uh, Dia de los Muertos, Day of the Dead um, mini album. It's seven and a half by five and a half. And um, it has a unique feature. On the spine, I adhered straws. See them? Got them there? So these straws I thought were festive because they have the straw, the um, stars, and they also have color, color, a lot of color. So I thought it would work well with the album. So this is the cover, and I found these at Target. I added them there, and the back looks like this. Very festive, kind of looks like a veil, a part of a some a lace piece of lace. So I really like that. Goes with the colors go well. And this paper that you that I saw used in the back, and this right here is from just a um. A Michaels uh, paper pad that I really really liked and it was bright and it had color so I used it and then I used glitter paper and I mounted it on um, a piece of foam so so it would add some texture to it but I really like it isn't that pretty and then um, this paper is by Rem by uh, Moxie it's a company called Moxie and Several years back, they had a Day of the Dead collection, and I found the paper in a little scrapbooking store in Carlsbad, New Mexico. And um, so I bought the collection, and I used it, finally used it. But here it is. Isn't that pretty? I absolutely love that. And this is some of that paper also. And so is this that's on the bottom. It's all from that special collection this is not this is from that collection that I used in the front and back but this is from that day of the dead collection I didn't do anything fancy on this because it's got so much decoration already on it but I thought it was pretty and I'm like I've got to make a mini album out of that it's not pretty And you know what I want to do with it? Eventually I want to mount photos of my dead ancestors in here so that I could put this book perhaps in an altar. I only recently got into celebrating the Day of the Dead. I moved um, to El Paso in 2015. Um, before that I never celebrated, never thought of it. I am Hispanic, um, third generation. And so I never, you know, was into my culture that much. But when I moved to El Paso, I embraced it. I loved it. I thought the sugar skulls were cool. And they have a special Day of the Dead bread that is absolutely yummy. And, um, and now that I live in Dallas, I only lived in El Paso like two and a half years. But now that I'm here in, in Dallas, I set up an al altar for November 1st. And I do have photos of my grandparents there and I do like candles and, and stuff so I'm really into it so I thought you know what I need to do a little book for Day of the Dead you know I make mini albums for other occasions you know why not a Day of the Dead album so um this is it thank you for joining me bye